first we're gonna make a fish face. So start by folding both diagonals, the color side up. Now turn over and fold in half in both directions. Now we're gonna make a square base. So fold like this. And we have our square base. Now what we're gonna do is take one of the edges, make sure the open ends are down, and then we're going to align this edge with the middle crease. Just like this. Unfold. Now what we're gonna do is lift this edge up, open up this big pocket, and squash it. Now we're gonna take one of these flaps and fold this edge to the middle crease. Do the same with this flap. Now unfold, lift this layer up, and make a petal fold, like this. Make sure that the crease goes to the middle point. Just like this. Crease everything down. Fold the flap in the other way. Now we're going to repeat this with these three other flaps. Now we have this. This is our completed frog face. We're going to sink this point in and out. So with this one here, I did it. I divided this into fourths, so let me do that. You could do however many you want, but I think I'll go with fourths again. So first in half, fold it to that point, unfold, fold the edge to the crease you just made, unfold. Then we're going to fold this edge to this crease. Make sure it lines up. Just like that. Crease sharply and unfold. Now we're going to open this up so we can sink it. Starting with this outside crease. So unfold, not fully, but almost fully. And then we're gonna make a mountain fold around this whole our octagon we just made. next one a valley fold so do that however you want I'm gonna turn over and make a mountain fold just because it's a little easier turn over and you see we have this one mountain folded and the next one valley folded. Now we just gonna have to collapse this in. Make sure this point sticks up afterwards. 
So we're just gonna slowly collapse along the creases that already exist. We're not creating anything new here. One of these got unfolded. Now, it looks like this. We're just gonna sink this point back in. So open it up. You'll see the little octagon make mountain folds around all of those. Around the whole octagon. folds around that octagon and let's collapse it in. We're only reversing these creases, not creating any new ones. Then it'll look like this. You'll see that pattern there now. And then what we're gonna do is just fold these points up as far as they'll go, these long ones first. So fold this point up. We can do the same to all them. Then it'll look like this. Now we're going to fold these little flaps up too. Like that. Now it'll look like this. Now just pick one of these big flaps. We're gonna repeat this on all of them. And just fold it like this. And then we're going to inside reverse fold so that this edge is aligned with this edge. Now I'm going to show you how to pre-crease it first, but you don't need to. Fold it, make sure it, it goes as far as it can on the inside. And then it has to align with this edge, just like that. Then we unfold, open it up and then inside reverse fold. Just like this. And it'll look like this now. Then what we do is we, do, we in, make another inside reverse fold, dividing this angle in half. Let's fold this edge to this edge first, like that, go up until it meets this mountain fold here, and then we're going to make a crease from that intersection to this point, and then flatten, then repeat on this side, and now it looks like this. Now we can fold this and open it up, but not yet. First, let's work on this flap now. What we're gonna do with this one is just a simple inside reverse fold, bringing this point to this point first. Make a mountain fold here. Then it looks like this. Hold that in place and collapse, making that crease. Then we're going to repeat these on all the other flaps. So all the small ones like this, all the big ones like this. Just 
spread the layers a little bit, and it's done.